In this video, we're going to talk about setting up a market report in Lofty. Remember that a market report is our default that we're going to send out to each of our contacts in the PCSOI uh, because it's unique, it's universal, it covers everybody, whether they're a renter or a homeowner. And so we're going to show you how to set that up. Uh, and again, this market report is a macro view of the contacts local real estate market. Um, in fact, we're going to recommend you do, you can do it either on city or zip. We're going to recommend zip. So let's walk through what it is and show you how to do it inside Lofty. So you're going to open up a contact record of the person you want to send a market report. So we'll go into Lofty. Uh, this is where we enter Lofty when we first log in. We'll go into people. And I've got my uh, example sample people here, my fictitious people. Uh, we'll go down and uh, let's do, I don't know, pick one. Let's, uh, let's help John here. So John, we're going to help him out. And we're going to send out some information for him. We want to do a market report. So let's just walk through the checklist on the top line, select people, which we just did. And here's an optional idea. You can narrow your search and speed up the process by clicking filters and then say search by a tag. So right now I only have 12 records in here, but if I had 1,200 or 12,000 and you know I'm getting a lot of internet leads or something else and I just want to filter it down to my PCSOI real quick, uh, here's what you could do. You can go over here to filters, click on filter, and then you can uh, reduce it by any of these items. And I'm going to recommend tags. So you notice I just scrolled down the tags and I can select that right there. Let me show you the other thing. If, if this list just looks too big and you first go in there, you could just search for a filter. Say I want to look for tags. Uh, I click tags and it go, brings me right to it. And it says, hey, tag, include one of, and then I open this up and I can uh, select any of the tags that are already in the system. Notice it's your tags and everybody else. So there's a lot. And that's why it's helpful to have this little um, search key. And I'm going to do uh, PCSOI, and there it is, PCSOI. So I click on that, and notice my list was reduced to six. So my list was 12, and now it's reduced down to six people. Um, so I can just close this, but the filter is still on. I'll let you know. Uh, by the way, let's just go ahead and do this. If you want, if you look in here and you see six, you're like, I, I know I have more than six, or you can't find someone. It's probably because a filter is on. So just go to the right and click on filter. And uh, in order to close it, you click on this blue filter button and it shows what filters are applied. And then you click the little X next to it to, to, to eliminate the filter. Notice what happens on the far left on the number of leads when I click this box on the right that says P PCSOI and I click the X. I'm gonna click the X. I got rid of the filter and look at all went back to the 12 or all my leads I have in my system. Okay. So that's one way to use filters to help reduce it. You can also use this search feature up here in the upper right corner. Uh, let's say I know somebody I want to work with and I'm just going to, I just remember their name is John. So I'll just type in John with an H and there we go. We got a couple different Johns. I want John test SOI. And there is John's record that we're going to help uh, to get a market report. All right, so I found the contact by either scrolling down through your list or entering the name in the search bar, which I just showed you, which is that magnifying glass. Then you click on the contact's name to open the record, which we've done. There's the record. All right, so now we're going to go to the next step, which is add a market report. So on the contact screen, on the top line, click engagement. All right, so here's our contact. We're gonna go up to the top line uh, and go to activities, engagement, smart plans, transactions. We'll go back here to uh, engagement. We'll click engagement open. And now we've got prop alerts, market snapshots, market reports, and home reports, and we want market reports. Okay, so under market reports, click the plus for the new report. So under market reports, there's a plus here and the new report, we'll click on that. It says, oh, here we go. We're, tell us what you want us to do. Uh, let's go back and read our details. We just clicked the plus. Now we're going to enter the zip code of the contact's home, all right, or their primary address, and wait for the auto population below the entry block box and click on the correct option for the zip code. So on this, you could do a city or a zip. For instance, I'm in Lakewood, 
you could do the city, but in my city, there are multiple zip codes. So I could narrow it down more by doing a zip, but there's my city, Lakewood, Colorado. But I could also do a zip code like 80227, which is a Lakewood. And then it says, is this what you want? Um, and we typically recommend the zip code. If you're in a huge metropolitan area, it'll narrow it down uh, tighter than the huge city. Like my city has a 130,000 people in it. So it's a really big city inside a metropolitan area of 3 million. So that's really a lot of properties. I don't want to overload them and it, with information that's not relevant. So I'll go down to the zip. Uh, um, Converse, if you're in a really uh, uh, open area, like a uh, rural area, uh, typically a zip code is going to get you a lot more properties than just a city. So you're going to want to pick the zip code either way is typically the best way to go. All right. And um, we had a zip code here, but I made a fictitious zip code up. But you would look at the um, the client's, uh, the, I said client, the contact's zip code, and you would enter it there in location. For frequency, you got a couple options. You go monthly, bi-monthly, quarterly, semi-annually, or annually. And I'm going to recommend monthly. Uh, so it's it's very simple to set this up. You got a zip code, monthly, and then you click save. If you click preview, it will email you a copy of this report so you can take a look at it. Uh, but we'll go ahead and click save. And now it's in there. Mark report, there's one of them. It's for this zip code. I can either delete it or edit it. Um, you can edit these, so you can click it back open and say, whoops, I had the wrong zip code. I really wanted 80226. I had a, my fingers made a mistype. And instead of monthly, I really only want to send it out quarterly. Now you can do that. You click save. You say, oh, wait a minute. Mike said I got to do this monthly. So let's edit that. And I, that's the right zip code, but I want to do it monthly. And boom, now we're good. Okay. So uh, these are pretty flexible and they're really fast and easy to set up. So we entered the frequency. I kind of skipped ahead there, but we uh, did the monthly. And then you can preview the report again by clicking the preview button and it'll email you a sample. You can click the save button to launch the report and you can edit the report as I just showed you by clicking that box. By the way, you can also delete it. So uh, if you decide you don't like it at all, you can just go over here and delete. And if you click the delete, it'll say, are you sure you want to delete? And say, yeah, I'm just get, get out of there. Boom, look how fast it's gone. I want to show you how quick we can set this up again, though. So it's gone. There's no report. And if I click on the plus and I say, hey, I got the zip code of 80228. Let's do that one. And uh, yep, there it is. And then I want to send it out monthly. Yep, that's what Mike said, do monthly. And I click save. Boom. There it is. Market report is going to go out on the fifth of every month. All right, cool. Uh, and then so here we go. Market reports are emailed on the fifth of each month after the statistics are uh, pulled for your MLS, uh, they're accumulated for the previous month and then a report is created. Uh, you're gonna repeat this for all your PCSOI contacts uh, under Sphere. So let me go back and show you that. That's a really good reason to do this filter in the beginning. We have these 12 leads, but not all of them are PCSOI. So we do filter and we go into the tag that we've created and uh, we're going to do PCSOI. Oops, there we go. PCSOI. And we click click that and notice it reduced it down to six. The benefit of doing it that way is now I have all six here ready to go. I open up the first one, Tom. I say, hey, do we have a market snap uh, market report for Tom? And I say, no, we don't. Okay, wow. Let's go ahead and do a report. Now, on Tom, we have a zip code here in New York. Uh, I'm not familiar with New York, so uh, I thought we made that up. But let's go ahead and see if it's a real zip. 13203 uh, says no results. So I, I made that up. So I'm going to send him a report in my local area where I know there's a zip. 80215, there it is. And uh, we're going to send it monthly. And boom, Tom's set up. I say, hey, I want to go to the next one. Great. Down here on the bottom left. You got back and forward for the six leads. Just go to the next one and say, hey, okay, now we got Terry up here in the upper left. And uh, uh, where's Terry at? Do we have any details? We don't have any things there. But I just happen to know her zip code. Actually, I don't know her zip code. So I'm going to skip it and go to the next one and uh, put that on my list of things to do. 
Oh, I do have somebody here, something here for Jane. I've got a zip code in her address so I can set her up and it'll be a marker report. I click it open. I type in the zip code, although that looks fictitious. Let us see. Five, yeah, that was a made up zip code. So we set her up for 80214. I got a zip code there uh, and we go, yeah, and monthly and hit save and bingo. Now she's got a marker report as well. See how quickly this could go? And I just go through all six. And I could set them up super fast. All right. So uh, the cool thing now is you have automation working for you. Lofty will automatically email out a marker report forever, in this case, every month, until you turn it off, your contact unsubscribes, or the record is deleted or put into archive status. Pretty cool and pretty fast about how you can set up a market report for your person in the PCSOI.